everyone. My name is Sai Shivam Prakash Patak, student of Sayo College of Management Studies. Today I am looking forward to talk with you about AI, that is artificial intelligence. Do you know that AI is present in our life? Or we can say it is present in our daily schedule. In this video, I will be covering concepts of AI. There is a lot of thing to cover in this presentation. And let me quickly run you through our today's agenda. Our today's agenda is, what is AI? Current status of AI? Examples of AI? Uses of AI in our day-to-day -day life, advantages of AI, disadvantages of AI, what will the next decade bring? Let's move to our first slide. What is AI? Basically, AI is a combination of two words, artificial and intelligence. Artificial means something which is man-made. What is intelligence? Intelligence is our ability to take variables from our senses, whether it is touch, smell, sight, hearing, or any other senses, and we use that to process certain decisions. Artificial intelligence is similar, defining how would a machine do this. How do AI works? Typically AI has receptor or sensor through which it will pick data from its environment and it will have memory of what to do depending on what kind of signal it gets and then it will make decision which will be communicated to other device based on the memory it had and the sensor input which it got. Let's move to our next slide, current status of AI. Our first point is AI of good. Basically AI of good is about analyzing satellite images to identify which area has highest poverty level. Locating people living in poverty through door-to-door -door survey is sometimes difficult. However, surveys are costly, infrequent, etc. Earlier, satellite used to capture nightlight to collect data and predict wealth in a given area. However, this didn't work really good because nightlight alone was not sufficient. To overcome this problem, the new study turned its attention towards daylight imaginary, which used to collect features such as roads, metal roof, etc. This new mode was more accurate to predict poverty. Our next point is aviation. World's leading airline companies are already using AI to improve operational efficiency to avoid costly mistakes and to increase customer satisfaction. Airline companies are using many different ways to determine flight ticket prices. Flight ticket prices are decided by algorithms that determine fares depending upon several factors such as past booking, remaining seats, etc. Our next point is education. AI has already been applied to education in some tools. The hope is that AI will fill the gap in learning and teaching and allow schools and teachers to do more than ever before. Therefore, companies are creating robots to teach subjects. Our fourth point is healthcare. When it comes to our health, especially in matter of life and death, the promise of AI to improve their health facility is interesting. I would like to share some examples of AI advanced in healthcare such as AI robotic surgery, virtual nursing assistant, aid clinical judgment and diagnosis, etc. Our last point is finance. There are several examples of AI in finance. I'd like to share a few of them. AI has given financial industry the whole new way to fulfill demand of customer who want smarter, safer and more convenient way to spend, save and invest their money. AI in finance is transforming the way we interact with money. Algorithmic trading is one of the best example of AI. Our next slide is about example. Tesla. Tesla is one of the best example of AI. The company Tesla has been working to develop next generation of cars. To that end, they have given their cars their own version of AI. To that extent, their cars can drive by themselves and they call it as autopilot. Their cars can even parallel park by itself. Tesla cars have cameras which gives 360 degree of visibility around the car for up to 250 meters of range. The cars have updated ultrasonic sensors for detecting both hard and soft objects near the car. A forward-facing camera with enhanced processing provides additional data about the world, which can see through fog, heavy rain, dust, and car ahead. The cars can initialize brake before the driver so that no damage is done. Certain cars have warning feature which let driver know that there is a car at their blind spot. This feature is leading to the day when the cars can run without a driver. Our next topic is use of AI in our day-to-day -day life. First point, mobile banking. 
AI not only automates credit and debit card management system, but also makes it safer. It helps customer to get rid of long authentication process in case if they lose their cards. The AI system saves time and effort of customer and helps to improve mobile banking services. Our next point is maps and directions. Google Maps offers directions based on fastest route according to usual traffic. When apps like Google Maps calculate traffic and construction in order to find quickest route to your destination, that's AI at work. Our next point is ride sharing app. Ride sharing service Uber uses AI to determine how long it would take to get you from a location to your destination. This lets you know when to expect a driver and the food delivery. A recent report by The Independent claims that Uber is developing AI which would help you to know whether a driver has been drinking before he accepts to pick passenger. This AI powered software would attempt to determine driver state by analyzing and comparing pattern of typing, walking speed and many other factors. Our next point is product recommendation. Amazon and other online retailers uses AI to gather information about your preference and buying habits. Then they personalize your shopping experience by suggesting new product tailored to your habits. For example, if you search a product such as Bose Speaker, the search engine will also show you the related product which other people have purchased. Our next point is Smart Speaker. One of the best examples is Amazon's Alexa. Alexa is an AI device of different nature. Alexa is a device meant to help you in all aspects of your home life, much like your phone assistant. All you need to do is you need to talk to her. However, her range makes Alexa too valuable. A program like Siri is limited to a particular device you have her on. In the same way, Alexa is limited. What do you have at your home? She can turn off your light. She can make calls for you, can read audiobooks and many more. You can activate her from any part of your room. She gets activated just from a shout. Alexa is very much home AI and many people are using it to make their life easier. Our next topic is advantages of AI. First point, the chances of error are almost nil. Computers however do not make any mistakes if they are programmed properly. With AI, the decisions are taken from previously gathered information applying a certain set of algorithms so that errors are reduced and the chances of accuracy is greater. For example, in weather forecasting, Using AI, it reduces the majority of human error. Our next point is, it can be used to explore space, depth of ocean. The biggest advantage of AI is, it can do riskiest thing for us. Let it be going to Mars, diffusing a bomb, exploring the deepest part of the ocean, or mining for coal and oil. It can be used effectively in any kind of natural or man-made disasters. Our next point is, smartphones are greatest example of AI. AI is taking center stage in smartphones and goes far beyond apps like Digital Assistant. Apple, Samsung, Huawei have all introduced smartphones with powerful AI chips, which can perform trillions of operations per second and uses significantly less power to accomplish tasks. Our next point is, machines do not require sleep or break and are able to function without stopping. To be productive, people need to have refreshment time to time. A great replacement of this human weakness is AI based machine. They won't get distracted, bored or tired. AI based machine will not need a break. Once programmed for a long hour, they'll work for 24 into 7. Our next slide is about disadvantages of AI. First point, high cost. It is true that AI comes with a high cost, but there is no such thing as free lunch too. It requires huge cost as it is a complex machine. Apart from installation cost, its re repair and maintenance cost is very high. Also, if there is a breakdown, the cost of procurement is very high. With that, recovery requires huge time too. Our next point is decrease in demand for human letter. This is one of the riskiest and can have severe effect in future. If in future, human beings don't add their skills then in no time we can see that they'll get replaced with machines. Our next point is machine ethics. No matter how smart machine becomes, it can never replicate a human. Machines are rational but very unhuman 
as they don't possess any emotion and moral values. They don't know what is ethical and what is legal. And because of that, they don't have their own judgment making skills. Our next point is no improvement with experience. AI cannot be improved with experience as they can perform same function again and again if no different command is given to them. Our next point is creativity is not the key of AI. Machines can't be creative. They can only do what they are taught or commanded. Though they help in designing and creating, they can't match the power of human brain. Our next slide is about what will the next decade bring. First point, AI will help to develop medicines. AI is going to take medicine to a whole different level. IBM is working on AI application on chronic disease treatment. A lot of companies like Google and Intel are working on data collection software for certain specific medical research. Our next point is construction and infrastructure. AI can replace a lot of hazardous manual work in construction industry. Some developers have created 3D models for planning and designing of building. But they are not widely used as now. But they'll surely grow in future. Our next point is enhancing the existing technology. Alexa and Siri are just babies and will grow up to become more useful and responsible in few years. Do you already feel that search bars are reading your mind? Then be prepared because companies are learning to make its search bars more personalized and specific. Thank you for watching this video. I am very thankful to Professor Deepa Ma'am for giving me this opportunity. I would also like to thank our HOD Professor Deepak Sir. I would like to thank my very own college, Sayo College of Management Studies. Thank you. Have a nice day.